Hi, Charles with some Book Sage here. It is Friday, November 24th, 2017, and this is my Friday Reads. So I actually had a very productive week this week. I've been on vacation all week from work, so I actually managed to catch up on a lot of reading. I last minute at the end of October decided to do NaNoWriMo, so most of my free time this month has been uh, working on my NaNoWriMo book. And I broke 50,000 words uh, like two couple of days ago, so I'm doing good there. But it really um, put a cramp on my reading for most of the month until this week. And I had a lot of time to read outside of when I was writing. So I finished off then, um, Samuel R. Delaney's memoir, The Motion of Light and Water, Sex and Science Fiction Writing in the East Village. Brilliant memoir. I loved every moment of it. I also read in two sittings this week uh, Bob Dylan's memoir, Chronicles Volume 1, which is on my shelf over there. I forgot to <laughs> go get it. I'll probably pop a picture of it here just so you see it. Also thoroughly enjoyed every moment of that. And what's interesting is when I these were both part of my nonfiction November TBR. And when I put them on my list, I didn't make the connection at first that both are memoirs set in New York City in 1961 in The Village. The Motion of Light and Water takes place in, mostly in the East Village. Chronicles Volume 1 takes place mostly in the West Village. And I'm glad that I read them back to back and thoroughly enjoyed both of them. And I also made myself sit down and finally finish Nettie Okorafor's Who Fears Death, which was just, uh, just a, for me, just an absolutely amazing novel. All three of these books that I finished and read this week are all five-star reads, which is pretty rare to have three books, all five-star, in the same week. I started reading Who Fears Death last month as part of Spooktober for the uh, book with orange on its cover challenge, and I've been taking my time with it because it's really, really good. It is a story set in a post-nuclear apocalyptic Africa, set far in the future, and but it deals with rape and genocide and all sorts of pretty heavy hitting issues and Nettie does not pull punches when she writes but it's science fiction Afrofuturism category even though Afrofuturism is kind of a whole ongoing debate as to what that term means and who actually it gets applied to but that's a whole nother subject for a whole nother day um, really best left to people who are far um, more versed in that whole genre and discussion. But Who Fears Death was just absolutely brilliant as well. It's the story of Anya Sanwu. Uh, it's her story told in her first person. And it is brutal and harsh and beautiful and amazing. And I loved, I love this book. Uh, HBO has, I bought, bought the rights, and they're working right now on turning it into an HBO series, I believe. George R. R. Martin is one of the producers, and Nettie Okorafor, the author, she's involved as well in the pre-production. So those are really good signs. HBO has a really good track record, and I expect uh, great things out of this. This is going to be quite a story to put on the screen, and but I'm really looking forward to it. It's years away, obviously. It takes a while to get that thing off the ground, um, budgeted, cast, filmed, edited, the whole works. But uh, it's going to be quite the thing to watch. This I highly recommend this story. Again, trigger warnings for anyone who needs them. This is can, book can be brutal and in your face at times, and it does deal. Rape it, um, takes place in this book because, uh, again, there's a genocide that's beginning to take place. But just a beautiful, beautiful story set in a harsh, harsh world. So now that said, my plans for this weekend, which is the general theme of the Friday Reads, I suppose, is what I'll be reading this weekend, is I am I started already Seeking the Compassionate Life by Carl Goldberg and Virginia Crespo. This is the third of my nonfiction November selections for the month. I'm 26 pages in. I believe it's only 187 pages. My goal is to try and finish reading this by the end of the day tomorrow night. I want to have this done before Sunday rolls around. Now, I've only got 160 pages to go. Normally, that should be pretty easy to knock out. But this is a very dense psychoanalytical subject. It's, it 
it's dealing with case studies and psychotherapy and psychoanalysis and everything. So it's a much denser, slower read. But really, really interesting so far. Um, he's making the case for that psychology, psychoanalysis, psychotherapy are missing an important piece uh, about how they handle and talk to people who need help. And he's tackling that in here of how he came about thinking about this and how he wants to present how this should be a much more of a focus in treatment. So um, Virginia Crespo uh, is really good friends with my sister, and Virginia gave this book to me when I've, I've met her a few times. She's a pretty cool person. I never got to meet Carl. He had already died um, before I met Virginia. But um, I really want to finish this by tomorrow, tomorrow night. Because Sunday, I am starting my first time reread of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. For those who don't know, I am recently started my first time reread of the whole seven book series. Um, I've broken it down over 52 Sundays. So I'm reading the first five chapters of Chamber of Secrets this coming Sunday, and then I'll be recording my weekly vlog. And that'll be up probably sometime Sunday night. That's my officially my Monday video. So for the next year, um, my Monday video is going to be my first time Harry Potter reread series. And I've been enjoying that uh, quite a lot. I think this week is going to be episode five out of the 52 series that I'm going to end up having. Um, if that's something you're interested in, um, I will link up here to the playlist so you can go check that out. And I, the rest of my reading, um, the rest of my weekend is also going to be me continuing writing in NaNoWriMo. I won't be finishing the completed first draft of this novella by the end of the month. I'm about 51,000 words in, and it's probably going to cap out somewhere between 65 and 75,000 words. So the odds that I'm going to get 14 to 24,000 more words written in the next six days while I'm working is pretty slim. But my expectation for it is to have that first draft done by the end of December. So I'm going to keep to that goal. In my When I do my November wrap-up video, I will kind of give a a whole like monthly recap of my nano experience for the year but I, i've been enjoying it and that's pretty much it at this point i have already recorded a review for the motion of light and water samuel R. delaney's biography for those watching this video in the future you can find a link to that video right here in the corner for those of you watching this here on friday the 24th the video is not uploaded yet so there's no link to click on there but in the future, I'll come back and it, pop back in here and edit it and add it into the corner. And I will be doing a review of Who Fears Death. Uh, I may have to reread it one more time before I record that review. Now that I've read it and I took my time reading it, I, I want to reread it again, but kind of just take a weekend and just spend the weekend reading the book straight through. Uh, my second read, I usually read a lot quicker than I read this book. Uh, but this was a deliberate choice to take my time reading it. Um, but I think I might do one more, just like read through of the story before I um, finish, uh, before I record my review. And I'm pretty much going to wrap it up here. Uh, my dinner is on the stove and it's probably just about done right now and I don't want it to burn. So I'm going to end this video uh, today. Hope everyone has a great uh, Friday and a great weekend. Hope you all, for the people in the U.S., had a great Thanksgiving. Um, and I will see you in the comments. I will see you on Twitter. And this is Charles of Sir Book Sage. Happy reading. <laughs>